a chance to play with air. It's the air that lets a baseball pitcher throw a curveball and can run windmills to create a clean, green power source. In this STEM-based adventure, you'll find out how amazing air is. Requirement 1C asks us to conduct at least one of four investigations listed in the handbook to see how air affects different objects. Let's try the first one. Have the boys make paper airplanes. You can find lots of paper airplane designs in books. Also, you can look online for free paper airplane patterns that you can cut out. So as you can see, we've made some paper airplanes here. Let the boys use their creativity and give them other objects to work with too. Here we have a paper clip, but you can give them stickers, tape, see what they can do with it. So the best part of paper airplanes is getting to fly them, of course. So go ahead, make that a competition. Let's see which one can fly the farthest. That one did pretty well. I think I'm going to pick one next that has a different paperweight, because that can also affect how an airplane will fly. Yeah, not so great. Maybe better luck with this one. Let's try it out. That was excellent. I'm sure the boys are going to love this elective. But let's move on. At number three, we're going to need two balls. One is inflated and one is pretty flat. So we're going to see what the difference is when we bounce them. Yeah, that's probably not going to be a lot of fun for the soccer player. This one looks a little more promising. Yeah, that gave us a lot more bounce. And did you hear the sound? That's right. Even air can affect the weight of things. So these are great easy experiments that you can do with the scouts. You know, this adventure helps the wolves explore basic aspects of air, often overlooked substance, and discover some of the many things that air can do for us. 